This is Orville Rogers, a 100-year-old man who broke the 60-meter world record in his age group with a time of 19.13 seconds back in 2018. Orville lived to the age of 101 and he passed away in 2019. That was just one year after he had broken the world record in the 60-meter sprint. Orville's got an incredible story that I want to share with you. And it highlights two key concepts you need to understand for longevity. So make sure you click a like and subscribe for future videos about living longer and staying healthier. Orville Rogers was born in 1917 in the US. He was a pilot by career for 32 years and he retired in 1977 at the age of 60. He wasn't an athlete or a runner in his youth. In fact, he only started running in his 50s. He read a book called Aerobics by a famous doctor named Kenneth Cooper, who's also the creator of the infamous and difficult Cooper running test. Orwell said Cooper saved his life. And he actually did, quite literally. Dr. Cooper discovered a blockage in Orville's heart during a Cooper test. So by the age of 50, Orwell had developed atherosclerotic heart disease and he had a blockage in his heart. Fortunately, he beat the odds and still lived to the age of 100. This is a relatively unlikely scenario to make it to 100 after getting diagnosed with heart disease. A 2003 study on 424 centenarians saw that they fit into three morbidity profiles. First were the survivors who got a diagnosis before the age of 80 but still lived to 100. The second group were the delayers who delayed the onset of age-related diseases until at least the age of 80. And three were the escapers who reached the age of 100 without getting diagnosed with any of the common age-related conditions. The vast majority of centenarians are either delayers or escapers. They either get a chronic disease like heart disease after the age of 80 or they escape it altogether until the age of 100. In the study, only 24% of men and 43% of women were survivors. They got a disease before the age of 80 but still made it to 100. Orwell is in this group, the survivor. He got heart disease at the age of 50 but still made it to 100. And based on the study, only 24% of men who become centenarians are in this group. So there might have been some luck here, but Orwell also changed his life for the better and he started to follow a physically active lifestyle in his 50s. Orwell did die to a heart condition at the age of 101 in 2019, but he was able to escape it for 50 years, which is just amazing. So how did he do it? Well, he did it with exercise and running. He started running and taking his health and fitness more seriously. During his running career, Orwell had run over 42,000 miles, which is 67,600 kilometers. Over the course of the 50 years of running, that would be the equivalent of running 2.3 miles per day, or 3.7 kilometers per day. That's not a very massive and crazy amount. I haven't found any information online that Orwell did some sort of marathons or ultramarathons, so he was still pretty moderate with the amount of running he did. He was just very consistent and he kept doing it well into his 90s and 100 years of age but he also engaged in some form of resistance training. Oriel Rogers is an amazing example of squaring the curve. Squaring the curve describes having a very long health span followed by a quick death. As you remember, Oriel was breaking the world record one year before his death. So he literally had a health span or more like a functional fitness lifespan almost until the day he died. I think that's the scenario that most people want. They want to maintain, you know, good mobility, good fitness and quality of life until the day they die. Unfortunately, many people who suffer from different kinds of chronic diseases earlier in life, they tend to have this kind of low quality of life until the day they die and they lose many decades in their life. In 2020, Oriel was listed at the USA Track and Field Masters Hall of Fame. I think he's actually one of the best case studies we have on how to live long and stay healthy because he didn't reach the age of 100 by accident like many other centenarians do. The people who escape all chronic diseases, they don't necessarily do it because of their pristine lifestyle habits, they do it because of their genetics. Now, Orville might have had some beneficial genetics that enabled him to live 50 years with heart disease and still reach centenarianhood, but he did get a chronic disease in his 50s. He could have easily died to heart disease at the age of 50 or 60 if he didn't change his lifestyle. Oriel is an example of someone who beat the odds even when the odds of his heart disease were stacked against him. And he's an example of how you can also live long even after getting diagnosed with a medical condition without the favorable genetic profile. He's convinced that people don't stop running because they get old. They get old because they stop running. If you want to know more about the key concepts to achieving a lower biological age and adding healthy years to your life, then I have a free video training that outlines exactly that. You can get the training at the link in the description or head over to www.seamland.co forward slash longevity training.
Thanks for watching this video. Make sure to click a like and subscribe for future videos about living longer and staying healthier. My name is Seem. Stay optimized, stay empowered.